Is there a new flavor of Sour Patch Kid, or they just burn these? It's looking a little red compared to this guy. <laughs> All right. So, focus it in. There we go. Perfect. All right. This video is going to be a little bit more vloggy. So, if you want to see a vloggy style video, then I'm sorry. But, there's going to be a lot of great information in this vlog. I'm gonna go over the supplements that I take. I'm gonna talk about possibly starting to do little giveaways. There's gonna be a workout, food, so much goodness, so I would stick around. Let me sit you down. I haven't even thought this out, but let's just sit you right here and hopefully this works. Don't fall. Perfect. Okay. So, something people generally want to know is what supplements do I take? So, I'm about to go to the gym. It's a little bit after five. I'm actually like drained. You know when you have those days at work when it's not necessarily a longer day, but it's a more, it's more taxing on you, I guess. That was what today was, so I'm a little low on energy. I'm gonna have to listen to some music first, get in the mood to go to the gym, because I do get out of the mood to go to the gym. I'm not always pumped for the gym and I gotta get myself ready. But back to the supplements. All right, so I have the water and I use eight to 10 ounces. I'm making up my pre-workout shake. So the supplements that I take, I don't always take a pre-workout. For the past several months, I've been taking like a pre-workout every day, but that's just because I'm, I've been low on energy. I know it's not the best to always take a pre-workout because you get kind of hooked on them. And they also have a lot of caffeine in them. So right now I'm taking Stimulate. So this is the pre-workout I'm taking right now. It has a thermogenic blend. So I'll be honest with you guys, a lot of pre-workouts don't, or the ones that I've seen at least, don't list out all the ingredients. They just kind of list a blend. And then in that blend, they tell you what's in it, but not necessarily how much. So take it for what it's worth. I do think this is a pretty decent pre-workout though. I'm not even that far into it, but I do like it. I've also taken, you know, C4, NO Explode. Uh, this is just a pre-workout I'm taking right now because I want to try something new. So, and I do a little less than a full scoop. Then, I'm going to mix two tablespoons of the dextrose powder. Now what the dextrose powder is going to do is it's really just quick energy, it's sugar in a sense. So it's just gonna provide me with some quick energy. Take one scoop, and it doesn't come with a scooper. I got all of these supplements off bodybuilding.com. This dextrose does not come with a scooper, so it's just uh, a tablespoon. And two tablespoons is a serving, but I'm using one tablespoon because I'm then going to put one tablespoon in my water jug and then I'm gonna do two tablespoons after for my post-workout shake, which I'll show you. So that's the dextrose and that's the supplement I've been taking for a about a year, almost every single day, the dextrose. Then I have, so I already took my pre-workout shake, which was the smoothie, so I'm taking Optimal Nutrition 100% gold standard whey. That is my go-to protein. People ask if I buy other brands. Not a lot, honestly. I found that this one is, is one of my favorites. So I might buy different flavors of it, but it has a good amount of protein. It's got some BCAs in it. So if you're not getting enough protein in your diet, you're not gonna be able to repair, rebuild, recover. You, you just need to make sure you're getting enough protein. You're gonna read several sites out there. They're like, oh, one gram's fine. I honestly shoot for 1.2 to 1.5. You guys might think that's a lot, or some people might think that's a lot, and I'm potentially hurting my kidneys, but I get my blood work tested every six months to a year. They say I'm fine, so I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. But that's the protein I take. I've been taking that protein for probably uh, two years straight now. So, creatine. I will not be taking this in my pre-workout shake, but I 
go for five grams, five to seven grams sometimes of creatine every single day. And I'll take it in my post-workout shake, which again, I'll show you when it comes that time. But I just buy the micronized creatine powder, which is creatine monohydrate. So this is just the purest form of creatine. It has the most research done on it. I find that it works the best for me. So this is one that I highly recommend. And again, I got all this stuff on bodybuilding.com. You could, get them off, you could get them off Amazon as well. I'll see if I put, I might put links in the description to these products from Amazon. And then I have amino energy. So your BCAs, it's gonna help prevent catabolism, which is the breakdown of your muscle tissue, which you do not wanna do. You've worked hard for those gains. You need to keep those gains. So BCAs are gonna help with that. And I will mix two to three scoops of this with my half gallon to three quarter gallon of water. So, but the pre-workout shake is done. So that's really all the supplements that I take on a day-to-day -day basis. I take the pre-workout. Again, that's not a every single day type of thing, but it's a most of the time. Then I take, always take the dextrose every day, and that's one tablespoon in the pre, one tablespoon in the jug, and then two tablespoons after in my post-workout shake. And I take one scoop of the whey protein for breakfast with eight ounces of almond milk, one scoop an hour before my workout, which is water, and then one scoop immediately after my workout with water and the dextrose and the creatine. And the creatine, I take five grams after my workout, with my post-workout shake. So it's pretty simple stuff. Uh, the supplements that I take now, I'm also probably gonna hear, you waste a lot of money on supplements. I've found that these supplements work for me. Well, it might be, you know, maybe it's mentally, maybe it mentally gets me ready to go to the gym, but still, if that's the case, then it works. I mean, if it's a placebo effect, whatever, but it still works, but honestly, I think these supplements do work, at least for me. So, those are the ones I recommend. I hope that helps, and now it's time to go to the gym. Almost forgot to mix up the BCAs and the dextrose in my jug. So let me show you how I do that. So I have, need a funnel. I got this off bodybuilding.com too when I placed an order. You can make shift a funnel, it's pretty easy. You don't have to have something like this, but it helps. So, and I'm gonna do one tablespoon of the dextrose. There we go. And then I'm gonna do just two scoops of the aminos. And there is caffeine in this amino energy, so if you can't do caffeine, you might need to look at a different BCA supplement. There's plenty of them out there that don't have the caffeine and stuff in them. This is just the one that I'm taking right now. It's one that I like a lot, but there are many others out there to choose from. Shake this up. Lid on. Ready to go. Oh no. I was moving stuff around on my trunk. And I found an old shaker bottle. I have no idea how long it's been in here. Oh, oh God. I need to throw it away. Oh, it stinks. Alright, let's get this commentary started and get the workout started. So, today was back in biceps, and I started off with some barbell preacher curls, seven to eight reps, with a focus at the very top. So I hold it at the top for like one or two seconds to get that squeeze, get that contraction. Then, I go into a superset of about seven to 10 reps, 
of Preacher Curls with the Dumbbells. Again, same thing, focusing on trying to squeeze at the top, but I'm pretty wore out, and I did four sets of this. So one set was the Barbell Preacher Curls, and the super set of the Dumbbell Preacher Curls. That was one set. Four sets of that. Then I moved on to some reverse barbell curls, 10 to 12 reps. Uh, I went a little bit wider. You could go with a closer grip if you wanted, and my thumbs are under the bar. You could also try putting your thumbs over the bar. Just a couple different variations that you could try. Then I superseted this with alternating dumbbell curls, 10 to 12 reps, and I've been really trying to focus on keeping my shoulders back, my chest up, and, and not using the shoulders as much uh, as I have in the past, because uh, it's easy to do. So Then I moved on to some seated wide grip cable rows, 7 to 10 reps. I kind of lean forward and then I come back and, and get the squeeze so I get that full range of motion. So give it a shot. Then. I move on to single arm dumbbell rows, 10 to 12 reps on an incline bench. Uh, sorry for the, the terrible angle here, but you get the point of it. And now this one's blurry. I messed up. I'll be better next time, guys. I will be better next time, but you get the point. Then moving on to a single arm cable row, 10 to 12 reps. It's not at the lowest point of the cable machine but it's about two up from the bottom. And then again, same thing, getting the full range of motion, getting the squeeze. Uh, I like isolating by doing one arm at a time. Then lastly, I end it with some rope cable curls, seven to 10 reps. Just trying to pump as much blood into those biceps as I can, get the pump before I leave the gym. You gotta leave the gym with the pump so it makes it look like you actually did something, you know? <laughs> but that's gonna end it for this commentary and now it is time to go get some food it's that time steak and shake So I just went to Steak and Shake. Yes, I have my Steak and Shake over there, but I need to mix up my post-workout shake. So let me do that. I got my shaker cup here. I got my whey protein. I'm gonna do a scoop of whey. Now, the optimal time to take this shake is gonna be immediately after your workout. So. I stopped by Steak and Shake first, and then I came back and did it. One, because I really want a Steak and Shake, and I had the supplements in my bag, but they weren't in the same containers. I digress. Anyways, I'm taking the shake now. So, I got the one scoop. Then I have... Then I have the two scoops of dextrose, or the two tablespoons. Knocked it over. One. Come on. There we go. Two. Then I have a teaspoon, is what it is. One rounded teaspoon of creatine. It does not come with the scooper either. So just be prepared for that. One rounded scoop. There we go. Then I'm just going to shake it up. I need to eat, I'm super hungry. I love Steak and Shake, but they need to get their shit together. Like, a dude quit when he was making my food. I guess his manager told him, she was like, hey, you need to do this guy's order and then do this person's order and whatever. I think he was the only person working. He was like, nah, forget this, I'm gonna walk out. And he walked out, I was like, oh shit. It's crazy, he got all upset, he needed to swallow his pride, like it wasn't even that stressful, it really wasn't that busy, and he was just like, no, forget this, 
I'm gonna walk out and then yeah lost his job I mean in that situation like the dude just needed to take a step back just take a step back here collect himself and just make the food like she did not do anything that bad or say anything she was just like hey where are the orders at and he went off so now he's got to find a new job and it's not gonna look good that he just walked out so if you ever get that stressed I mean because I get stressed if you ever get that stressed just take a step back gather yourself and then do what you have to do just a tip all right let's look at the food let me put this down real quick all right I got one fry two fry Then I have, I knew they were gonna mess it up too. They have, I got two steak burgers, but I didn't want tomatoes on it. I just don't like tomatoes on my burgers a lot of times from these fast food places because they're all like soggy and they get warm. It's gross. And then I got a second one, so, uh, yeah. I got the cookies and cream shake as well. So, that would be good. I need to take a step back, get myself together. The steak chick has me all heated, all bothered, but it's fine. The food's gonna be good still. So, I think I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Hopefully you guys got some help from the supplements because I know that was a, something that was requested was what supplements do I take? And those are the main supplements that I take every single day. You know, maybe here and there I'll take a fish oil, but every day those are the supplements that I take. Let me know how I can make these videos or these vlogs better. Comments, leave them, I love to see them. But please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And that's all I have. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed.